This is the White House, the home and the office of the President of the United States. Last November, some 70 million American citizens cast secret ballots to determine who would fill this chair, to determine upon whom would fall the responsibilities of this office. The choice was John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the youngest man ever elected. From their home in nearby Georgetown, on this day, January 20th, 1961, Mr. Kennedy and his wife, Jacqueline, come to the White House where they are greeted by President Eisenhower. Vice President Nixon, Vice President-elect Johnson and their wives were also guests at the White House. For many weeks, the outgoing and incoming administrations have worked together to ensure the orderly transfer of government. Mr. Eisenhower and Mr. Kennedy now ride to the Capitol for the inaugural ceremony, the completion of this transition. Undaunted by the unusually cold weather, the crowds began to gather early in the morning. And here beneath the gleaming dome of the Capitol, honored guests are assembling in order to take their places on the portico. Former President Harry Truman and family. Poet Robert Frost and Marian Anderson, famed contralto, two of many guests representing the arts in America. Members of the Kennedy family, Justices of the Supreme Court. The diplomatic corps representing countries throughout the world. President Dwight Eisenhower and Vice President Richard Nixon. The Vice President-elect Lyndon Baines Johnson. And the last to take his place, the President-elect. This crowd gathered on the Capitol grounds is about to witness the Chief Justice of the United States, Earl Warren, administer the oath of office. You, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. That you will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of your ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Solemnity gives way to celebration as the traditional inaugural parade begins. This year celebrating the birth of a new generation of Americans. Arriving at the White House grounds, Mr. and Mrs. Kennedy head for the specially constructed stand. Where joined by Vice President and Mrs. Johnson, they will review the inaugural parade. The parade symbolizes the desire of the American people, regardless of party, to wish their new leaders well. of the United States Air Force Academy. Floats representing the states in the Union add color and gaiety to the occasion. Massachusetts, home state of President Kennedy.
Texas, home state of Vice President Johnson. This patrol boat is identical to the one commanded by President Kennedy during his service in the Pacific in World War II. And so a nation spends the afternoon of an important day celebrating the inauguration of its 35th president. The following day at the White House, the cabinet is sworn in by Chief Justice Warren in the presence of Mr. Kennedy. These men will assist the president in fulfilling the responsibilities of the executive branch of the government. The administration of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy begins. 